Welcome to another video from CVEC Hospital. I am Dr. Bhavana Amatya. I am a general practitioner and travel medicine specialist working at CVEC Hospital and Travel Medicine Center from 2016. I'm going to talk about dengue. So dengue is one of the flu-like illnesses caused by dengue virus. Dengue virus affects the body in multiple ways. There are four serotypes of dengue, one, two, three, and four. There was a huge outbreak of dengue in Nepal in 2022. The serotypes that were found in this outbreak were one, two, and three. When a person is infected with one serotype, he or she gets immune to that serotype for life. However, if that same person gets another serotype, the secondary infection may be very severe. Coming to the signs and symptoms of dengue, after an incubation period of two to seven days after bite by an infected mosquito, that is the tiger mosquito or Aedes aegypti or albopictus, which is characterized by stripes, black and white stripes in their legs. The si signs and symptoms can be body ache, headache, fever, myalgia, rash, pain behind the eyeballs, pain on movement of the eyeballs, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, that is you don't feel like eating anything, then vomiting, cough, shortness of breath, uh, and diarrhea also at times. In severe cases, there may be bleeding from different parts of the body, including gums or in the internal organs or in the stool as well, or sometimes even in the brain. The severity of dengue is determined by different factors. They can be due to comorbidities such as asthma, diabetes, hypertension, or sickle cell anemia, pregnancy as well. And also it's very severe in the uh, extremes of age, that is in infants or in the elderly. Coming to the management, management is mostly symptomatic. Most of the cases are mild. However, in severe cases that can present with abdominal pain and continuous persistent vomiting, any neurological symptoms or signs, there, those cases require hospital admission. There may be need of fluid replacement, sometimes oxygen supplementation, as, as well as sometimes ICU care and support. So what can we do to prevent dengue? The main thing is prevention of mosquito bites. So mosquito bite prevention can be done by wearing long sleeved clothes. They have to be loose, otherwise if it is tight, mosquitoes can bite from outside as well. There should be use of good quality in mosquito repellents containing DEET or permeth uh, this uh, picaridin or any EPA authorized insect repellents. You cannot use everything that's available in the market but because they may not be effective. Nepal currently does not have dengue vaccines. However, there are at least two different licensed vaccines in the world. One is Dengvaxia, uh, which is only given to seropositive patients. That is, one if a person has already had dengue in the past, and uh, then only this vaccine can be given. This is only given in uh, dengue endemic countries, such as Thailand and Philippines, those uh, and many other countries. Thereafter, there's another one called Qdenga by the Japanese company Takeda. Uh, this one has got authorization from the uh, in many different um, countries, including Europe. Uh, however, it's yet to uh, obtain CDC approval from the US. We are very prepared to take care of dengue patients in Nepal, including our hospital, where we have excellent services available. If you are planning to come to Nepal, please bring along with you good quality insect repellents containing DEET or picaridin and use them uh, frequently as directed and also wear full sleeved clothes whenever you are outside, then you should be safe uh, from dengue. However, if you do acquire it, you should not be worried. We are there to help you. Thank you.